Good morning, and thank you for joining me for morning prayer on Wednesday the 13th of January. I'm at St John's Taree, and I'm Father Peter Tinney. We'll be using the Wednesday morning office on page 401 of a prayer book for Australia. The psalm this morning is Psalm 35, verses 1 to 17, on page 255, and the reading is from St John's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 60 to 71. We also give thanks for the life and ministry of Hilly of Poitiers, bishop and teacher who died in 367. We thank God for his wisdom and leadership in the church, his engagement around the doctrine of the Holy Trinity and the grace of forgiveness and our relationship with Mary. We acknowledge the first peoples of our diocese, the Awabakal, Birupai, Darkenjung, Giwagal, Gamilaroi, Waramai and Wanarua peoples. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, A Song of God's Grace. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love, you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm is Psalm 35, verses 1 to 17, on page 255. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me, Fight against those that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and arise, arise to help me. Draw the spear and bar the way against those that pursue me. Say to me, I am your deliverer. Let those that seek my life be put to shame and disgraced. Let those that plot my destruction be turned back and confounded. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing. For without cause they have secretly spread a net for me. Without cause they have dug a pit to entrap me. Let sudden disaster strike them. Let the net that they have hidden catch them. Let them fall to their own to their destruction. Then shall my soul be joyful in the Lord, and I will rejoice in his deliverance. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you? For you deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them, the poor and the needy from those that would despoil them. Malicious witnesses rise again rise up against me i'm questioned about things of which i know nothing they repay me evil for good i am as i am as one bereaved of my children yet when they are they were sick i put on sackcloth i afflicted myself with fasting and if my part my prayer returned unanswered to my bosom i went about mourning as though for a brother or a companion. I was bowed down with grief 
as though for my own mother. But when I stumbled, they rejoiced and gathered together. They gathered together against me as though they were strangers I never knew. They tore at me without ceasing. When I slipped, they mocked me and gnashed at me with their teeth. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well-pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John chapter 6. When many of the when many of his disciples heard it, they said, this teaching is difficult. Who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life. The flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he though one of the twelve was going to betray him. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle, the Te Deum. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the, for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. 
Eternal God, at the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved Son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Grant that all who are baptised into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Saviour, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Almighty Father, by whose grace your servant Hilary bore faithful and witness to the truth as it is in Jesus. Grant that on earth, adoring the mystery of the word made flesh, we may hereafter behold our Saviour in the light of glory, who with you lives and reigns, one in the unity of the Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we come to you before we begin our day's work as we ask you to bless this day. May we find whatever is good in the tasks we are set and the time that we share. Help us when we find some things too hard to understand. Teach us to be fair and generous with one another so we may thank you for a day well spent. Amen. We pray for the world, for the church and those in need. We pray for communities around the world confronted with the ongoing impacts of COVID-19. For families and individuals living with the impacts of that virus. For those who've lost family members. For communities living in fear and feeling as though they're in chaos. We pray for people around Australia faced with recent outbreaks and the restrictions. We ask your blessing on med medical and emergency staff providing direction, care and support to communities affected. Bring us calm and patience as we confront the challenges before us. We pray for communities facing weather events that they're not used to, people confronted with fire and flood. We pray for Peter, our Bishop, for Sonia and Charlie, Assistant Bishops, our clergy and lay readers as we respond thoughtfully to those in our communities. We pray today for the clergy and people of the parishes of Wyoming, Wyong, Beresfield Thornton and Brankston leader Greta Lochinvar. We pray for correctional centres and youth justice facilities and for their chaplains. We pray also for the Mothers Union and Anglican women. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony in accord with Christ Jesus that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen. Have a blessed day.